Brianna. Welcome to the 2021 Fall Clean and Decorate with me in our new house. I am so excited for this video. We are gonna be cleaning, we're gonna be decorating. I have some recipes for you. You're also gonna come shopping with me to get some of the new decor that I needed for this house. So make sure you're subscribed while you're watching and I cannot wait for you to decorate with me. And you follow through. Now all my dreams are coming true. So get up and clean with me. I know you've got dishes or laundry or beds to be made, so let's do it together. You will feel amazing once it's done, I promise. And don't forget, I've got some awesome fall recipes coming up for you later on in this video that you do not want to miss. And I hope you know that all of the cleaning and the cooking and all of the work that you do around your home matters so much. Even if no one tells you thank you or no one tells you how much they appreciate you, I'm here to tell you thank you for being here. Thank you for what you're doing. Our world needs you in it and it needs homemakers love each and every day, and I'm just so glad you're here. And if you ever need a prayer or you need some positivity or some encouragement, just let us know down in the comments below. Our community is here for you. And if you don't mind while you're watching today, click that thumbs up button for me. It helps so much and I really appreciate it. I know it is a lot some days taking care of your family, taking care of your house, doing all of the things. It can be exhausting and that's why it is so important that you get a good night's rest so that you have the energy to tackle all of the things that you need to tackle. That's why I was really excited to partner with Helix for this video today because ever since we moved to Hawaii, we've been sleeping on our Helix mattress and oh my gosh, I'm getting like the best night's rest. I feel like my energy is just so good. I've like had the best energy to get this house set up. You guys know I've been really, really busy since we moved here. And Helix just makes it so easy for you to find the perfect mattress for you because they have a sleep quiz where it asks you about your preferences as far as sleeping on like what position you sleep in and your firmness preference all the things that you find the perfect mattress for you. And if you sleep with your partner, you can take the quiz together and it will give you the best mattress to meet both of your needs. Here's what the quiz looks like. It asks you about your sleep positions and what kind of mattress feel you like and what kind of sleep relief that you need. And it will match you with your perfect mattress for you and if you take it with your partner. It was also just so easy to set up. It arrived to my door, the shipping was free, it was rolled up in a box, I could set it up all by myself. I didn't even need Adam's help to set up the mattresses. And I actually got them for us and for both of the kids have Helix mattresses as well. We got matched with the Helix Dusk mattress was the model that we ended up getting matched with after we took the quiz. So if you're a little hesitant to try something that you don't get to test out first, Helix offers a 100 night trial. So you get over three months to try out the mattress, make sure you love it. And if for some reason you don't, Helix will pick up the mattress and you will get a full refund. So you've really got nothing to lose. So be sure to use the link down in my description box below or visit helixsleep.com slash Brianna K for up to $200 off plus free pillows. And thanks again to Helix for sponsoring today's video. Well, we just got to Target. We're gonna do some shopping for some fall and Halloween decor and some of the things we need for some of the treats that we're gonna make later. So come and shop with me and pee at... I got you, hold on. Target. Magic potion, snake venom, witch's brew. Spooky trees. 
These are fun, huh? There's some like cute different like gourds. And then they have like some spooky, <laughs> these little skulls. And these little potions, brews, purses. And like these like pastel orange pumpkins too. Oh, I like these like felt pumpkins too. Those are neat. These are so cute. Mom, can you get one of those? They're kind of wild. Crazy. Huh? We've got like polka dot ones. Striped ones are kind of neat too. Pink leopard. These jugs. So cute. Those are cute little candles, huh? There's so many colors. Oh, they have ones that look like little pumpkins. So like there's these guys, right? Those are cute. This is so cute for Bob. I love that. I'm gonna do the Target haul for you guys in a second, but first, some little guy over here. What's going on? <laughs> we just had lunch and mommy has a bunch of cleaning up to do, huh? A bunch of cleaning to do. It was a good lunch though, huh? <laughs> what is that? A big wolf that I found in the wolf was over there. Oh, thanks, babe. Welcome so back, sweet. mama. Oh, I love you. <laughs> Maybe it's cause we are Got time and we're wasted Got no plans for the night I love how you look at me Feeling low, nothing to lose Can we stay here tonight Cause I don't wanna go I know the tension's gone now And that you won't stay here Keep looking back, don't wanna forget ya yeah, I wanna do it all again So I keep pushing rewind Hoping you'll still by my side We can't get lost in time But don't you wanna do it all again? Start gonna repeat in my mind Dancing with you by my side We can't get lost in time All right, let's do a quick haul of the stuff that I got from Target. I actually, I think I'm gonna bring the camera down here so I can like show you more close up everything that I got. Okay, I feel like there was a dollar spot jackpot right now like all of this stuff was dollar spot how adorable is this hello pumpkin <laughs> towel i thought that was so cute and i like little hearts too like i feel like i could reuse the heart one around valentine's day they're so cute and these little plants this one's more of like an olive plant um it comes with like the little clay base three dollars in target dollar spot and then they had this one I don't know if this is actually like a tobacco plant. Like I've heard, when I've seen other people get these, like that's what I've heard it referred to as. But also I think it's three, yeah, three dollars too from the Target dollar spot. I thought those were really cute for just like year round, but to kind of like pop in some color with the fall stuff. These foam pumpkins, three dollars. And I just love how pastel and they're kind of like have like a bit of like a rustic sort of a vibe. I thought that one was so cute. This brown glass jar let's see how much that one was that was three dollars too i just loved the color of that one in presley i was having her like pick out which one she liked the best and she said this one and i thought that, that was kind of like a pretty look for fall in here and then this rattan i think this is a rattan right like what are we calling this rattan roven i don't know it's so cute this pumpkin though so got that one i still need to like play around with the fall decor maybe i'll try to do that a little bit Later, we'll see what I can get done. Um, but they also had some Halloween stuff out. So I snagged a couple of things. I thought this could be like a good thing that could be for fall and Halloween because it's just white puffs with the orange string. And then this one is Halloween with the black and orange and white puff balls. I love decorating with those. I was like debating maybe doing it over my sink there. I don't know, to play around with it. This jack-o-lantern platter. 
planter, 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 jack-o'-lantern planter. <laughs> I don't know why that was a tongue twister for me. Um, I just thought this was so cute to put on the porch for Halloween this year. I love that. I'll have to find like a cute little like spiky plant. That would be so cute. And these they had back in the, I think it's called like hide and eek section of Target, but I just, I liked these because they kind of give off like a cozy vibe and the plaid and just like the orange piping is so cute. This was in the dollar spot actually. So I think these were $5. Yeah, $5 from the dollar spot. I thought that one was like really fun. And this was in the hide and eek section. They had a couple of other spider options, but I thought that this one was definitely like the cutest. And I think he was only $5 too. What's say on here? $4, he was only $4. Um, so love him. I got a couple of candies because there's some treats I wanna make. They might be in this video or they're gonna be in an upcoming video because <laughs> um, I wanna do some Halloween treats with the kids. And then this spooky fabric I got too. Um, I was thinking maybe like doing something over the mirror. The mirror and stuff still has to get hung. So that's all coming soon. Um, then a couple of other things I got that are just more like fall <laughs> for me. I love this little sweater tank. I thought the sleeves were just absolutely precious. So picked this up um, since it is a lot warmer here. I won't have like the cozy, cool fall. I can still have cozy, but I won't have cool weather here to really get cozy. And then these pajama pants, these are like longer. Um, I have them in like the same fabric, I should say, in a brown like leopard print with a little bit of like blush pops, but I like these too. And this t-shirt that went with it was so cozy, but it's like a really like, just like soft fabric. I love it, but I love these, like they have pockets too. Um, but I need like really breathable pajamas here since we don't have air conditioning. So this is the little Target haul for today. This first fall recipe is teriyaki meatballs. So good for an easy dinner or for football game food. Just mix one egg, one heaping tablespoon of minced garlic, one pound ground beef, half a cup of breadcrumbs. I prefer panko for this recipe. And then a quarter teaspoon of ground ginger, one tablespoon of soy sauce, and salt and pepper to taste. Roll these into one and a half inch meatballs and you'll have a little over one dozen. Cook your meatballs in a pan on medium heat, turning until all the sides of the meatballs are lightly brown. In a separate bowl, mix a quarter cup of brown sugar, quarter cup of soy sauce, half a teaspoon ground ginger, quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, and whisk all of that together. Once your meatballs are all brown, pour the teriyaki sauce over the meatballs and simmer on low until the sauce thickens up. And then you can turn off the heat. Garnish with sesame seeds and some diced green onion. These can be served with rice or any sort of a veggie for a delicious and easy dinner. This pretzel crusted pork is another super easy and delicious fall dinner idea. You will not believe how easy it is. <laughs> Just crush up two cups of pretzels in either a food processor or I put mine in a Ziploc bag, crush them up. Then take four boneless pork chops, rinse them, coat them in salt and pepper, then spread mayo. I use olive oil mayo in the squirtable container because it makes it a little bit easier to do this. And then coat in the crushed pretzels. <laughs> 
place them in a greased baking dish, bake at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. I serve this with some veggies, but you could also serve this with applesauce and a beer, and it's a delicious fall Oktoberfest flavored dinner. And since it was a rainy day here, I wanted to do some fall baking, so here's a pumpkin bread recipe. It's so easy, makes extras too, so that you can share this with your friends or your neighbors. I actually like getting the mini loaf tins so I can give them to our neighbors easily, but just make sure you grease and flour your bread pans. This recipe makes two loaves, so I made a full loaf and three mini loaves. In a large bowl, mix three cups of sugar with one cup of vegetable oil. Then add four eggs, one can of pumpkin puree, and mix them all. Three. In a separate large bowl, combine three and a half cups of flour with two teaspoons salt, two teaspoons baking soda, one teaspoon cinnamon, one teaspoon pumpkin pie spice, which if you need to make this yourself, it's ginger, nutmeg, cinnamon, and allspice. Add half the dry mixture to the wet mixture with a third of a cup of water. Then add the second half of the dry mixture with another third of a cup of water until it's all well blended. Pour into your floured loaf pans and bake at 350 degrees. The mini loaves will be done in about 30 to 35 minutes and the regular loaf will be done in about one hour. But let these loaves cool completely and then enjoy with either butter or cream cheese. You could also make a powdered sugar and water icing to drizzle over the top if you like yours extra sweet. Okay guys, today we are going to do some decorating. I laid out all my decor here for fall and I cannot wait. I brought a couple of things from our house in Ohio, so I got some pillows and some blankets. You might recognize that from Hey Hey's room. But I got some things just over the last few days that I've shared with you guys um, from Target, and I'm just so excited to decorate. I have a lot of people who always ask me too, like how can I decorate for both fall and Halloween? And I was thinking about it because even though this guy was technically in like the Halloween decor section, I feel like if you do lots of just orange jack-o'-lanterns, then it can be like fall and Halloween are both covered. So stick with like lots of just like orange Halloween decor, and then I feel like you can kind of mix the two. And I sort of overbought. There's like a couple of things I couldn't decide that I'm gonna ask your opinion on. And what you think I should keep, so make sure you let me know down in the comments. For the spaces we're gonna be decorating, and this is where I would tell anybody, if you're like, I'm trying to budget for decor, pick like one small area and just get decorations for that area. Like you don't have to do your whole house. So I'm gonna do this foyer table um, and just kind of like add some balance around that mirror then that Adam hung over <laughs> it for me yesterday. And I don't know if this is necessarily going to stay here permanently, but it's sort of like our little drop zone area for right now. But I got just like a couple of things that could be set on here to sort of decorate it. I actually am not going to decorate those shelves, I don't think yet. I have a couple of things, but I don't think I'm gonna decorate them like for fall this year but I got some things to put on then the coffee table and obviously have like some pillows and blankets for decorating the couch. And I have, I think I'm just gonna keep my little like hay thing in the center there, but I was gonna play around with some other stuff potentially. And that's kind of what I'm decorating for fall just to like keep it very simple. But you guys know I love decorating. This is, I'm like literally, I'm like shaking in excitement right now because it makes me so excited to get to decorate. But I think for some people, if you're like watching decorating videos for inspiration and it just seems like there's so much and it can feel so like extra and overwhelming, that's where it's just like find decorations that you really, really love. Like don't buy anything just to buy it. Like buy stuff that really inspires you, makes you smile when you see it in the store. And then you can sort of build around those pieces in your house too. Because like you want your decor to make you happy. If it's not making you happy, then you shouldn't be doing it. So make sure that you love whatever decorations you're actually buying. All the girls, they follow you around 
every day. What can I do to make you mine? Just look my way. So in my last video in the new house, we hadn't gotten any of the furniture in here yet. So I'm really excited to show you guys the new foyer table and the TV stand and our couch. They all finally came and it's finally feeling like home. And it just, it feels amazing to be able to actually sit on a couch after a month of not having one. <laughs> Little things. But let me know while you're watching, what are your current favorite TV shows or any fall movies that you really love? I'm always looking for recommendations. And I've recently been watching Nine Perfect Strangers on Hulu. I haven't finished it yet, so please no spoilers, but it's sort of a creepy drama. But let me know what you are enjoying lately down in the comments. All right, so here's what I couldn't decide between. Do you like the vase with the berries or the vase with the leaves better? Let me know in the comments. some of these little dollar spot pumpkins left over so I just put them in one of our bowls and I'm gonna try to I think like fill the shelves a little bit done decorating so I'll give you a little fall decor tour of the new house home sweet holiday for 2021 I'll start here with my cute little hello pumpkin dish towel I like how it's like blush with the orange like I love that color combo so that's why I ended up putting both of these dollar spot little greeneries but I like love how like this is more of like a blush colored vase is that not it's not the right thing vase I don't know you know what I mean blush and then like the camel rust kind of colored clay terracotta so have that on my little pedestal which I got this pedestal from the dollar spot like three years ago maybe four years ago so hopefully they'll have some more back soon because I love how those look but I've also seen people do like a dollar store hack where like you get a little candlestick, like a glass candlestick and a plate and you hot glue them. So just an idea if you feel like getting crafty there. And I kept this little like straw floral arrangement on the table here. I like, like that, I like how it's like neutral but also looks so good for fall. And the couch here, I just love the kind of combination. This is almost like a pinkish orange again like I love like blush with oranges so I feel like it kind of ties it all in in like a darker rust color and I don't know it just feels very like boho beachy chic to me those colors <laughs> um, and then these I love the color of the pumpkins at Target this year I just feel like they were so pretty how they're almost like neutral colors but very rich toned so I put that, this is like a little rotating Lazy Susan that's marble. I got this at Target, I think in the spring um, when we were here. Yes, because I used it in my Valentine's Day decorating video. I remember that I like made a bunch of like treats on this. And this little, I think this is in the hearth and hand, like the Joanna Gaines section, but I love the colors of those florals just like for fall, so cute. And this Hello Pumpkin pillow was in the dollar spot. I just like to take the tag off it. I like always leave the tags on everything just to make sure I like love it and like like how it looks. Cause even sometimes if like I really love that pillow but like didn't go, I wouldn't keep it. So little hack for you if you're really like trying out decor, figure out what works for you. Don't take the tags off cause you can always return it if it doesn't work. Um, but yes, I have, this is like the Barefoot Dreams um, leopard blanket that I used when I had Hayden. It's like my comfort blanket. So I love using it on the couch at night. And this is the one area 
I'll probably end up either going back to the like dollar spot or figuring out maybe like picture frames or something. I think I might have seen like these little mini wooden houses that could go there, but I at least like how those shelves look right now. Yeah, like they have kind of nice balance and sort of tie in all of the colors from here. Oh, and this rug, by the way, that was in Hayden's nursery <laughs> and I packed it and I was gonna use it in his nursery here, but I kind of like how it looks there and also then like Coley likes to lay on it. So I feel like that's good for Coley. And it's so strange, it's raining so hard here right now and it never rains. So this is like crazy, but gives me all of like the cozy fall vibes and it smells so good. Like it's extra breezy and like smells so fresh. I love this for decorating. Um, this was all Target dollar spot. And I feel like this turned out like so simple and chic, the breeze kind of blew this over a little bit. Um, Presley picked these out by the way guys, she was like insistent that I get those. But I loved this brown glass vase. And a woman did tell me there, she's like, if you want the brown ones, you better grab them because those things have legs, they're not gonna be here. So <laughs> I'm glad she told me that because I like got them right away. And this little wooden tray, I just did like the big, small, big, small, big, small pattern. Um, with the different like white and camel colored pumpkins that are also like the rest I put in that little bowl over there. But I feel like this just turned out like very shim simple and chic. I was trying to say both words, simple. <laughs> chic and simple um, <laughs> for this little area here. And then the foyer table. Ah. <laughs> Move back up here. I have that little Jacqueline there. I eventually, I wanna put him on the porch. Like I have to actually decorate the porch, but I don't know if that rug, if I should keep it. Again, like I kept the tags on it just cause I'm not sure, like should I get more of like a longer runner for here? Let me know in the comments. But I sort of played around with how this table looked and I feel like I like it a lot better right now cause I was doing some different colored pumpkins and I ended up changing it up so that it's the different rattan style pumpkins. And I actually think I like it a lot better. Like again, I think it goes into like more of like a chic look how they're sort of all the same tone, even though they're like different shades and like patterns, if that makes sense. But trying to <laughs> sort of keep it simple, more again, like minimal, neutral looking. And I have to get a picture printed. I wanna get one of like the kids for there. Cause obviously me and Adam and Coley are there. And I kept the leaves right now. It felt more fall to me to have the leaves. So let me know though, leaves or berries. I'm so happy too. I don't know if you guys noticed from like other videos, I'd gotten a smaller lamp and it just was too small. So <laughs> I ended up returning it and getting that bigger one so that it had more balance, sort of like the tall lamp and then like the tall florals here. I'm just debating now though, like getting rid of the leaves and doing more like pampas grass. Like I don't know if that would look more coastal and beachy and I could like use it more year round. I don't know, let me know what you think. But anywho, that is the little fall decor tour for 2021 in the new house. Let me know down below if you like the new decorations. I feel like this is like my favorite little color combo right here. But let me know in the comments if you like the decor. But I know I said that guy I'm using for fall and Halloween, but I did start my little stash for all of my Halloween decorations here too. So <laughs> that will be coming soon. And now we're going to do a quick clean in my bathroom. So if you're not up yet, get up and clean with me. I'm serious, you will feel so much better, I promise. I hope you enjoyed today's 2021 fall clean and decorate with me video in our new house. Make sure you click that thumbs up and be sure to check out my other videos if you need any more cleaning or organizing or decorating and homemaking motivation. 
I'm sending you so much love and aloha. Thank you for all the work you're doing. You are amazing, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks, loves.